Hi, Yarn of Bees. How are you today? Today, I'm going to talk about this. Um, this is the pattern from Angela at My Precious Yarnery. And it's her hooded sweater. Easy hooded sweater. I will leave that link down below. Um, this is a very easy pa pattern to do. It's very quick. It's beginner friendly. Um, I've done two of these now and I absolutely love them. So, um, the only difference I did on this, I think, is the brim to the hood uh, and the tie with the ties. I think that's all I changed. I'm not sure. I can't remember. <laughs> but anyway, the yarn that I used for this is the Premier Serenity Chunky. Okay, I believe you can get this at Hirschner's as well as Premier. Oops, my ball, but I, my ball's coming apart. Um, it's a bulky chunky five. And it's 100% acrylic. And the color is After Dark. Why they call it After Dark, I don't know. You would think After Dark would be blacks and grays or even deep blues or something. Not green. But anyway. <laughs> so I had, had a whole bunch of it here. Um... But I used 11, did I use 11? Oh, altogether, it was 11 skeins of, um, was it 11 or 12? 12. 11 and a bit skeins to do this. Uh, and then I used the other Serenity Chunky in the color Pristine. Not white. <laughs> This is a cream color. This is not white. <laughs> so if you saw my other video, you will have seen that one of my panels I did in white. I grabbed a white skein instead of a pristine skein. Oh, it was a cluster. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed doing this. Uh, does she have buttons on hers? I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but I did put buttons on mine. So, and I think I did my sleeves a bit too long. So I have to, oh, I did, I did the crab stitch around the cuff, that too. So I think it can be worn up or down depending on how long your arms are. Uh, what else? Um, I use toggle clasp, a uh, toggle buttons and, oh, the hood, I put a tassel on it. So, yeah, let me bring it a little bit closer here. See, so, yeah, I, I did the wooden toggle clasps. So, I'll show you what it looks like. And then I put um, little wooden clasps. There you go. I put little wooden clasps on the ends of the um, tassels as well. And I used a Lucette fork to make these tassels. Or the, yeah, tassels. So, but I really like it. Uh, I made it too small for me. It's more of a small, medium. Um, and the arms, I did, I, I don't think I did the armholes. It's a, I don't know what I was thinking, but I didn't do the armholes quite right. 
Um, they're a little bit smaller right in here. Um, I did, I didn't do enough. I should have done, maybe done double crochets instead of single crochets around. So yeah, but it's done. <laughs> it's done and it'll fit somebody who's smaller. So once again, <laughs> another, another sweater that's not quite right, <laughs> but it, it will work for somebody who's, who's that size. So yeah, so I, I love her pattern. It's so fun. Um, yeah, I can't say enough about it. So go check out her channel and go see all the other tutorials that she's done. She is growing leaps and bounds uh, with making wearables. I seem to be digressing. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know what's happening, but, um, but this one is, it's a lot of fun to do. It really is. So go check it out and give um, Angela some yarny love. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all.